For those that uh, don't know, we were 4,800 meters above uh, sea level. But the different thing for this crossing today, we were there for two, 300 kilometers. So those that were feeling a bit woozy, it was a tough trip, that's for sure. Yeah, everything moved today. The whole service trucks left the bivouac this morning at four o'clock. All the safety vehicles went before them. So uh, we weren't allowed to leave before four. But the, the two truck drivers, Atti and Dion, uh, did a great job. They were here pretty soon after the cars, which is, which is nice going. I mean, you've got to appreciate how much uh, organization goes into the Dakar and how well organized they are. I mean, customs last night in the bivouac doing all the paperwork so that when you got to the border, it was a formality. Of course, unless you had fresh fruit or, uh, or meat and then the, the sniffer dogs would have you. But it was a, a tough trip today for the guys, 720 Ks. Not too much sleep last night. We were pretty late night again, so I think it was three or four hours. So it was a long trip. The stage today was a much better stage, but again, we were at a disadvantage because uh, the stage was above 3,000 uh, meters up to 4,900 for the race cars in one place. So a really frustrating day for, for Janiel in particular, and the fact that he caught one of the minis with the Russian crew, and unlike, uncharacteristic of Janiel, he really got angry after the stage and went to have a, quite a firm word, but it certainly cost him a good uh, two, three, four minutes. Very difficult to say, but 120 k's behind him, beeping him on the Sentinel, and he didn't pull over. So that was very frustrating. Until we get back down into sea level, I'm afraid the, uh, the turbocharged uh, minis and the, and the buggy with the big engine, the bigger restrictor, we're definitely in a, in a disadvantage. Every media person that I speak to, and I spoke to the ASO uh, competition's uh, director yesterday, every person says that Janiel is driving the hardest and the fastest out on the stages. So they know, uh, and we certainly know, so we hope that something will change for next year, that's for sure. Well, Leroy started, I think, 67 so far back, I don't even know, but he finished 28, so we overtook a lot of cars. The dust was particularly thick in one place uh, today for nearly 200 k. so he made great progress before then, but couldn't do it after that. I think he starts 29th tomorrow, so his aim is to get up into the top 15 tomorrow if he can do that and then we're in sort of cleaner air. He, can, uh, he must get experience now and uh, not a mark on the car today. I think he did a great job here and Rob, really good job. Well last week was pretty tough by Dakar standards for the crew and the cars. Uh, it was a tough week all round. Little sleep, long hard stages. So now we've got shorter open sections, more time. But look around it, I got my goggles on. There's a 40k an hour wind, nobody can put their awnings up and we're on this fine dust, so a, a, tough, uh, a tough bivouac for the guys tonight, that's for sure. This is real Dakar, this is a tough week coming, for sure. Welcome to Chile. Now the Dakar starts.